Kristen Bigley, Tiffany Schaefer. She's uh, the three of them are here, and we're waiting, of course, for Ian. Brian, good morning. Good morning, Great Jerry. Thanks for having right. us today. Uh, uh, delighted to be here. Uh, we're going to. Uh, Karin is missing in action, but JC has got his YouTube camera all set up. This will be out on YouTube, of course. And you are collectively you're known as the Celtic Ensemble. Cleveland Ex Celtic Ensemble. Explain, yeah. please. Yeah. So uh, over um, over the lockdowns, uh, uh, Tiffany and um, uh, Ian and Kristen and I often got together to play some tunes for the fun of it, and and uh, we um, decided to try to put together a little. Uh, ensemble, and um, so it's a, it's a little bit of a fusion of um, sort of uh, classically styled arrangements of, of traditional um, Irish, Celtic, um, Manx, Scottish. Uh, I think we even are working on a French tune, a Britain, a, a, a tune from Brittany, and um, so what we um, we're drawn from all these traditions and kind of uh, putting it together um, in a in an ensemble format. So we've played a number of. Um, uh, lovely churches uh, over the past year, um, including St. Ambrose, uh, John of Brunswick, and um, the Church of the Resurrection in Solon. And <coughs> uh, we have coming up at the, the United Church of Christ in Medina, right on Medina Square. On March 27th, we're going to be doing a concert, a live concert. Um, uh, it's March 27th, a Sunday afternoon at 2.30 p.m. Uh, we'll open up the doors around 2 o'clock. So come on down. Would and, you repeat um, that again for me? My camera wasn't working <laughs> properly. <laughs> Shocking. I, uh, I, I can't even believe uh, March 27th, Cleveland Celtic Ensemble. It's a Sunday. 2.30 um, in the afternoon is going to be the start. We're going to play some, um, we're gonna play some great uh, uh, Irish, Scottish, uh, uh, all, all sorts of Celtic music for you. So um, really, looking, really looking forward to it. We're going to give you here um, an example of what we might play. Uh, on March 27th. Um, the first one is called The Quarrel with the Landlady, written by O'Carolyn, and uh, a common, uh, or a, a contemporary uh, jig called Losing the Gun. We'll let uh, Tiffany take it up to uh, start us off here.
Lovely. There you go. Tiffany Schaefer there on the harp. Wasn't that wonderful stuff here on the Irish Show on WHK AM 1420? It is 1020 here in Cleveland, Ohio, and it is a nice, I think about 60 degrees outside. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Can't nice. believe it in the month of March. Hopefully it will stay this way until St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully you can join us next Sunday at the Westside Irish American Club. Very important. Breakfast starts at 9.30. We come on at 10 o'clock and we're there until 12. So bring your, uh, bring your friends, bring your sons, daughters, grandchildren, whoever. In fact, I know for sure we're going to have one young lady playing the flute. Brian, you'd be interested in that. Bridget Conway's granddaughter is going to oh, play the flute. That's great. So uh, are you, I think you're starting to travel, are you? For, uh, yeah, Saint I'm, Patrick's. I'm leaving um, on where you, Friday. Where are you heading like, anyway? Uh, so our, we have a production called Rambling House, and um, we've got shows uh, starting on um, Sunday. Uh, a week from today, uh, out in South Dakota, lead South Dakota, and uh, heading from South Dakota to Ashland, Oregon, uh, Mount Shasta, California, um, and then we're headed up to uh, the northern part of Oregon, uh, I suppose it's the, the, the central part of Oregon, uh, in a place called Bend, and then we head back south uh, in Oregon to um, a place called Klamath Falls, and uh, and then we finish up in Midford, Oregon. So we've got quite a little, uh, quite a nice little tour scheduled. Uh, going to be out with Tom Foley again and Bill Coulter and Emer Arkins, and uh, so it's going to be great. So I would love to get the opinion of Mrs. Bigley on all, on your absence. For this <laughs> <laughs> and she's, you got two very lively kids in the studio <laughs> this morning with their great. They're, look at them in the other studio. Yeah, behaving themselves they're, so far. They're doing, they're doing well. Uh, you keep them busy learning music, don't you? Yeah. Kristen, that, get close there with the microphone. So, so James is playing the piano. Um, he's been playing for a couple uh, years. How old is James now? He's, he's eight. Uh, he's, he's, he's pretty good. I think he'll be passing me up in piano in about a couple of years. <laughs> um, and Kathleen has been uh, learning to play the harp, and we're thinking that she'll be taking some formal lessons with Tiffany. This summer, she's um, she's playing the harp. She's playing the harp. She's six years old, um, and she and I actually rebuilt her harp over Christmas break. We got one of those uh, send away for kits. Um, and you built her a and harp. We, and we built it together. She and I built it together. It was a mother daughter project. Right. So, are you going to be able to handle the situation while your husband oh, is, I, is, you know, is in Hollywood? He's the one that's all the work. <laughs> I, he's, he could leave for 10 days. I don't have to feed him or do his laundry. <laughs> Who's that guy just coming in there? Mr. Uh, Graham. Yeah, Ian. Sorry, I'm Ian, hello, late today. how are you? You're, li you're live on Facebook right oh, now. <laughs> well, I have to explain myself. My wife's the, the parish music director, so. When there's a musical number to do, I kind of have to stay till it's over. So, <laughs> here now, though. Okay, you're here and ready to go, almost. Almost. Yeah. So, uh, it must have been a magical jam session. Did yeah. you guys already play the stuff I'm not in? <laughs> no, by, <laughs> by the way, by the way, the, you will be performing after the program here. You're going to go to PJ Mac. That's right. Yeah, for yeah. A jam, for a jam session, right? Yeah, to come down one o'clock. We're going to try to start by one o'clock. It'll be. Uh, we're going to fly from here over. Maybe grab some lunch at PJ's and. Uh, um, it sounds like there's going to be lots of people playing music uh, just for the fun of it. Um, so it should be up on PJ's on uh, Rock River Drive and Lorraine Road. Great. And um, I know they're a great sponsor of the program, aren't they? Right. Uh, are you going to play now? Or, uh, is Ian ready yet? No. That's so close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, I think we'll start with March to Battle, maybe. I can talk about that for a second. Sure. And uh, so, um, uh, as many people know, uh, over the last year, Patty Maloney. Uh, passed on, and um, there's a great tune that he wrote called The March to Battle, and um, for some reason we know it as the, the San Patricios, which um, uh, talk, uh, you know, is a tune commemorating the uh, 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 battle of the, of the, um, uh, the Mexican-American War, and uh, uh, so this is the March, um, the March to Battle, arranged by our own Ian Crane and composed by Patty Maloney. And um, so uh, this is this is normally the, the tune that we start we start our, our concerts with um, a little bit of an overture and uh, and by the way you can get tickets to our um, our upcoming show at the United Church of Christ in Medina at our website kbbproductions.net. 
kdbproductions.net. That's Christian. Now, Martin. you don't have to be a Methodist to go to that. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Because I'm a Catholic. <laughs> well, Am I allowed to go? I, well, I, <laughs> I, need, I need permission to go to the Catholic Church. Yeah. <laughs> no, I go every week. Yeah. Right, so so Ian, lo Ian looks like he's fired up here. And he is, uh, what kind of pipes are those, Ian? So these are Scottish small pipes. Um, they're uh, sort of the more simple cousin and a little older um, variation of what Brian is playing. I would say that these actually kind of um, went into oblivion years ago and were just revived in like the 1970s. So. You mean they're not quite as loud as the regular Scottish pipes? They're much softer. The yeah. ones the Irish gave to the Scots, and the Scots didn't get the joke for years. <laughs> right? That's what they say. <laughs> we, we, have, we have a few disagreements on I'm all sure, the things. I'm sure true. you do. So. Uh, I may or may not be in tune, so let's yeah, see let's what happens yeah. here. Uh, and we're going to be right back, so stand by, don't, which consists of Brian Bigley, his wife Kristen Bigley, Tiffany Schaefer, and Ian Crane. Uh, they are the ensemble. I love the name. It sounds so sophisticated <laughs> and aristocratic. You guys probably should be playing at Buck Buckingham Palace. We're, we're working on that. Yeah. Working it's on in that. the work yeah. I know those pipes of yours for sure will be welcome at Buck Buckingham <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, JC, are we ready with the... Well, no, you're not ready. Yeah, we're rolling. I'm rolling, right. buddy. Jerry, okay, do, you so, do you remember? Do you remember Enya? I sure do. Yeah. So there's a there's a great uh, piece that she recorded with 
the late great Liam O'Flynn, another great piper, um, uh, called The Sun in the Stream. And uh, so this is um, an arrangement that we put together uh, of that tune. So here we go. <laughs> of music and of course it is one of the great she, at one time she was called a new age artist yeah i remember when i was first introduced to her when i was one of my first trips to ireland about 30 years ago and she just came out this man on the bus said to me says have you ever heard of anya i says you know i think i am and he gave me the cd and we played it on the bus nice. and of course i became a very yeah. big fan of so her. Apparently, she hasn't done anything lately, though. I, don't, I haven't seen anything, but apparently she's sold more records than Michael Jackson or something. Well, she, I do know she has sold 90 million. 90 million. 90 million Incredible. worldwide. Yeah. And it, it's probably more than that, maybe now with downloads yeah. and all that. Who, who yeah. knows? But I don't, th I don't think she's short of a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> this was like my soundtrack growing up, because my mom had yeah. all the albums. And there I remember is. we had a CD player. And uh, it was like new high tech, you right. know, the yes. CD player in the living room, and we always had this on. So whenever we play anything from Inya, I'm just taken back to you know, 14 year old sitting on the couch in my living room with it. <clears> so it's very nostalgic yeah. and kind of soothing to play through that. Piece. Uh, her sister, Marta Brennan, was in town a few years ago, and she oh, yeah. was, had a Christmas show. It sounded just like her. Yeah. I, I think it sounded identical. Amazing. Yeah. Of course, the names are is Brennan. Right. They went to a pub in Donegal called Leo's, I think. Oh, yeah. It's called Leo's. And it was a great place to, for a lot of traditional mus musicians, any kind of music, to uh, congregate at Leo's, Leo's pub. Can you imagine going into that pub and you see all these famous worldwide yeah. uh, musicians from all over the world? And she was a great favorite, you know, where? In Japan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really huge. Huge yeah. in Japan. There's actually, do you know that there's a Piper's Club, in, an Illin Piper's Club in Tokyo now? I believe it, and you sold them all the pipes, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> At least one of them. I did send one set of them. And that's another thing, Brian. I know you don't talk about it much on the program. You do manufacture yeah. iron pipes. If, if people would like to, uh, yeah. first, I suppose, you have to acquire a set, and then you can learn to play them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. You, could, you could maybe start with a whistle, but yeah, yeah I'd love to make you a set. Uh, man, lots of people, uh, I think they're good, growing in popularity these days. That, getting lots of orders and uh, a lot of new people and, um, interested in And playing from playing, so. very diverse communities Absolutely. throughout the world. It's yeah. not just from America. I you told me you sold some in China. 
I sent I sent a I sent to Japan, maybe not China, um, uh, Russia. I sent Russia. A, sent a set to Russia years ago. Um, wouldn't be allowed to do that now. Uh, but um, and then Australia, uh, France, uh, England, Chile. Yeah, uh, uh, Scottish and Irish music is, is big down there as well. You know. So, uh, um, but uh, maybe we'll do a set of jigs for you if you have the time. Yeah, we. I'd love to hear a set of jigs right now. Great. All right. Here you go, old Joe's jig. Let's do it, mate. We're ready, JC? <coughs> and, uh, Hello, buddy. By the way, this is being recorded on Facebook Live. JC is going to be putting it out on YouTube. You'll be able to pick it up on YouTube. Probably t in a couple of days, JC. Uh, I hope so. In a couple of days, he'll have it out on YouTube. But in the meantime, we do it live on Jerry Quinn. It'll be on Jerry Quinn Facebook Live. Perfect. Here we go, old Joe's jig and uh, the last tango in Harris. What? here on the Irish show on WHKAM 1420. I have a very special dedication coming up next and it's for my good friend, great friend from many years ago, Jack Coyne. He's 91 years old tomorrow and Jack and Mary have been active in the Irish American community for as long as I can remember. Um, going back to the days even before we had an East Side Irish American club, going back to the days when the Irish club was at Virginia Hall. 
And that go and that's a long time ago. But anyway, you would never have had a Project Children program here in Cleveland if it were not for the coins. So I think we should be eternally grateful to all of the things that they've done for the Irish community all through the years. They have a wonderful family and uh, we're very proud of them and I just, I, I just I can't say enough of good things about the coins. They're just great people. But anyway, Jack has a favorite song. And as I was listening to this, I listened to it last night and I knew Tiffany was coming on. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm going to ask Tiffany to make a listen to this. And if this is something she might consider singing in the future, it's called Anna Down, which is written by the same guy who wrote the music for The Quiet Man, huh? uh, Dick Farrelly. Uh, and it's, per it's performed actually by Dick Farrelly's daughter-in-law, Sinead Stone. But anyway, Jack and Mary love the song. Uh, it's called Anna Down. Here's, it's, here's Sinead Stone to sing it. Happy birthday, Jack. Somewhere there is someone you keep missing A place that you are wishing you could be And you will understand just why I'm pining And you can share your What it suit you? That's pretty. I like it. It's nice. So to follow. Yeah. Back at you, Jerry. I did notice, JC, and I'm not to be critical. I'm not critical, but you're moving too fast across them. No, I'm not. Oh, you were. <laughs> you were. You were. Don't give me that damn camera no, again. No, I'm man. giving it back to you again. Just moving it. Honestly, I haven't heard that very much. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you played the harp so well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, listen, you started off, you were actually weren't playing the Irish harp at all for a while. You started off with a regular, just playing mm -hmm. regular classical, is that right? No, no, I've always done the Irish and Scottish harp. Oh, I, yeah. thought, I mm -hmm. thought you started off with yeah. the classical. Yeah, just fell in love with it and stayed with it. Okay. <laughs> well, you're with a great group right now with the ensemble. Definitely. What are you going to do? We're going to do three tunes. Um, the first one is one you probably know called Inishir. Yes. After the beautiful yeah. island off the west coast there. And um, Ships in Full Sail. Mm -hmm. And uh, The Stolen Reel. JC, are you ready with your camera? Um, I'm rolling. Uh, you want to get yours ready there, yeah. Jerry? I'll do it live. So if you're on Facebook Live, watch it right now or you know somebody wants to. Yeah. Oh, I didn't give him the camera yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead.
It's 10.56 here on the Irish Show on WHK AM 1420. Uh, bring us up to the top of the hour. You're going to hear right now from this group that I saw in New York a few years ago. Let's hear if you, uh, let's hear them right now. You know who's on this? Jerry or Paul Brock, he's an accordion yeah. player. How about Manus McGuire? Yeah. How about Indus Gayhill? Yeah. Dennis Carey? He, yeah. yeah. And if you can't spell it, ensemble, just put two E and S in and the computer will do the rest of it for you. <laughs> right. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to be playing a concert uh, at the uh, United Church of Christ on March 27th. Uh, That's in Medina, Sunday. right? Yes, yeah, right on Medina Square if you're familiar with the square there, uh, not far from where we do our Christmas show. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the, uh, uh, it's March 27th, a Sunday afternoon, 2.30. Doors open at 2 o'clock. Um, uh, come join us, we'd love to have you. Uh, tickets available at clevelandcelticensemble.com. And um, this next tune we're going to play is, uh, is a hymn called Come Now Font of Every Blessing that uh, Ian Crane arranged uh, for us exclusively. And um, uh, like I said, we'd love to dedicate this to the uh, families that you just mentioned there, Jerry. So uh, here we go. Thanks. <laughs>
forget who wrote it. Who wrote that? Even? I, I think it's traditional Irish, actually. Oh, is it? I believe so. Oh. Yeah. You did the arrangement on I did, yeah. For pipes. For or just two, specifically for, for us. For, the, for yeah. those, this incredible ensemble. Designed for, for us, yep. <laughs> yeah. It is now 12 minutes past 11 o'clock here on the Irish Show on WHK AM 1420. We'd love to hear from you. If you want to give us a call, you can. JC will scramble away from the YouTube video and he lends this one. And while, and while you're up there looking at Jerry's live feeds, you can take a look at our Facebook page and give us a like too. That's right. Yeah. If you'd like, so. yeah we always forget to mention that, so I always I've been harping on Brian. The old Facebook, the Facebook page. <laughs> okay. okay, so here we go. Nice <clears throat> dear one.
job there. It's one of my favorite pieces also. It's beautiful, isn't it? And, oh, yes, yes. And by the way, uh, we, we'd love to give a shout out to our dear friend Kathy Stewart, who, um, who's uh, worked on a couple of these arrangements. Um, the Inishir uh, arrangement, um, the harmonies were written by were written by Kathy. She's, of course, the uh, principal flautist for Apollo's Fire, as you know, Jerry, and um, a good friend of ours. And uh, we hope to be able to play tunes with her sometime soon. She's moved to Indianapolis. <clears throat> oh, yeah. But, uh, okay. Um.